What's up guys, it's Alex from the Duran and today we're gonna to be taking a look at two videos on the recent Novichok nerve agent attack in the UK. Okay guys, so this is four months removed from the Yulia and Sergei, Sergei Skripal attack that took place in Salisbury. And this takes place in the UK, also in uh, a place called Amsbury in Salisbury from uh, what I take it. It's also right down the street from the Port and Down uh, Chemical Lab, which manufactures Novichok. Um, they were implicated in the first Novichok attack uh, that took place in, in Salisbury, even though the UK government blamed it all on Russia and they blamed uh, Russia for producing the agent and for delivering the agent uh, in Salisbury and targeting Yulia and Sergei Skripal because they were former uh, spies who turned over to the MI6, etc. And, and this whole narrative was played out and it was just a complete bust, a complete false flag. And uh, so you have now four months removed, a second Novichok attack. And this one's taking place as Russia hosts the World Cup a very successful World Cup. Even the UK government admitted that it was a successful World Cup. And so it makes perfect sense that the Russian government decide to launch a second attack uh, right in the middle of the World Cup um, and right down the street from where they launched the first attack. And of course, up the street is the Port and Down Chemical Lab, the UK owned chemical laboratory, which produces Novichok, but of course, they're not implicated in the, in the whole scenario here. But anyway, this couple now um, has fallen ill to this deadly nerve agent that if you take one drop of it, kills you. It's supposedly more deadly than sarin. It's, it's completely lethal. Um, but the Scripple survived and we'll see what happens with this couple as well. But they fell ill to what the authorities are now calling a Novichok attack. Very convenient, very timely uh, placed piece of propaganda, it seems, because that's my opinion of it. But you're gonna be looking at the first video. The first video is the UK police and uh, they came out with a statement last night and they said, and I quote, we can confirm that the man and woman have been exposed to the nerve agent Novichok, the same nerve agent that contaminated both Yulia and Sergei Skripal. So that's the first video. So now they're, they're coming out and they're saying that we can confirm that it's Novichok and this is the same nerve agent that contaminated Yulia and Sergei. So they're making that connection now and you're gonna be hearing it soon. Russia, Russia did it, Russia did it. They've created the connection. Now they're gonna start blaming Russia for it. And here you go today. You had Home Secretary of the UK, Mr. Sajid Javid, uh, went into the, into the parliament and he gave a blistering speech, a blistering attack on the Russian government. He called the Russian government reckless and he was basically uh, implicating the Russian government and the Kremlin in this attack, in the second Novichok attack, and he's, he's calling for action now. And so they've created the connection, and now the UK politicians are gonna start blaming the Russians. This is all taking place in the backdrop of a very successful, a very well orchestrated and organized World Cup. Um, it's great PR from Russia, so I think everyone was expecting some, some sort of false flag, some sort of event to disrupt the World Cup and this may be it. We're gonna follow this story to Duran because this is just incredible. The timing and the arrogance of the, of the UK government to push this story out. Anyway, if you like this, uh, this video, guys, click the subscribe button down below. Click the notifications bell to get notifications every time we push out a new video. And go to the Duran shop, pick up a shirt, to help support the Duran. Until next time, take care. This evening, I've received test results from Colton Down that show that the two people have been exposed to the nerve agent Novichok. At approximately 10.15 a.m. on Saturday the 30th of June, the South West Ambulance Service was called to a residential address in Amesbury. A 44-year-old woman had collapsed and she was subsequently taken to hospital. At around 3.30 p.m. that day, the ambulance service was called back to that same address where a 45-year-old man had also fallen ill. The man was taken to hospital and Wiltshire Police were then informed. We can confirm that the man and woman have been exposed to the nerve agent Novichok, which has been identified as the same nerve agent that contaminated both Yulia and Sergei Skripal. The use of chemical weapons anywhere is barbaric and inhumane. The decision taken by the Russian government to deploy <coughs> these in Salisbury on March the 4th was reckless and callous.
There is no plausible alternative explanation to the events in March other than the Russian state was responsible.